Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on EMC consideration. Our topic for today's discussion, in fact, is the final conclusion, which is the C series on the shielding effectiveness. This video, I'm going to show it to you how to compute the shielding effectiveness based on three scenarios. Number one, when the source of interference is dominated by electric field under near field. Number two, when the source of interference is dominated by magnetic field. And last but not least, when your source is considered far field. So today, we're going to take a look how we can exactly calculate the shielding effectiveness based on these three scenarios. Today's discussion will be the part 29 series. The earlier on series discussion on EMC, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you are keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also remember to turn on your notification bell. Thank you so much, Guy. This is the first calculation example I'm going to do when your source of interference is on electric field. Let's come to the question. What is the shielding effectiveness of a 0.032 inch thick aluminum shield located one feet away from the source of a 10 kilohertz electric field? Let's come to the solution. Firstly, you need to identify your interference source. Okay, so from here, I can conclude that it's under near field with 10 kilohertz of electric field. When the source is dominated by electric field, Okay, I can start to compute the shielding effectiveness. Okay, I know that I do not need to consider the B term okay, because under electric field, okay, we can omit the B term. We only take consideration the absorption and the refraction loss. Okay, let's start by doing the absorption. Okay, firstly, we need to know that for aluminium, mu R is equal to 1. Conductivity R is equal to 0 0.61. And we also need to do some conversion. For example, we need to know that one feet is about 30.5 centimeter. One inch is about 2.54 centimeter. Okay, so we are ready to do the question. We start by compute the skin depth. Okay, so this is the formula that we have gone through earlier on. Okay, we're going to redo this formula and we can compute that the skin depth of having 0 0.033 inch or 0 0.084 centimeter. Okay, after we have compute the skin depth, we can substitute the skin depth into the absorption formula. This T is the thickness of the shield, which is 0 0.0813. Okay, so over here, we need to convert the thickness of the shield from inch to centimeter. Okay, because the skin depth is also in centimeter. Remember, we need both of them to be the same as I unit. From here, we can compute that the absorption is 8. 0.4 dB. So next, okay, we need to compute the refraction loss. Under the refraction loss for electric field, we need to use this equation here. So 3 to 2 here, 10 log. So this is the conductivity R, which is 0 0.61. Okay, mu R is equal to 1. Frequency is 10 kilohertz. Okay, this R is the range. I need to convert them into meter, so which is 0 0.305. So from here, I can compute that the refraction loss is 210 dB. So now I'm ready to compute my total shielding effectiveness, which is A plus R. The A, which is the absorption, which I have calculated on the previous slide, which is 8.4 dB. Refraction loss is 210 dB. So in total, I have 218.4 dB. Okay, so this is considered very effective. So when your source is actually dominated by electric field, normally you can build a very effective shield to counter against the interference. Next, 
Let's take a look on magnetic field. Okay, let's come to the question. Shielding refers to a metallic enclosure that completely enclosed the electronics. It is used to control the propagation of electric and magnetic field from one of the region to the other. Calculate the shielding effectiveness of a 0.0381 centimeter thick copper shield located 2.5 centimeter from the source of a 10 kilohertz magnetic field. Okay, again, we need to identify what is my source of interference. This is near field okay, with 10 kilohertz of magnetic field. With magnetic field, okay, I need to consider the absorption the reflection and also we need to include the multiple reflection B term here. So we are ready to start off by calculate the absorption loss. For copper, mu R, conductivity R is equals to one. Okay, and frequency is 10 kilohertz. Okay, we can compute the skin depth. Okay, this equation is exactly the same as electric field. We compute that the skin depth is 0 0.026 inch or 0 0.066 centimeter. We are ready to calculate the absorption loss. Okay, this is the thickness of the shield, which is 0 0.0381. Okay, I need to put the same SI unit, which is centimeter. I compute that the absorption loss is 5 dB. Next, okay, I'm ready to calculate the reflection loss under magnetic field. So this is the equation that I need to calculate the reflection loss. 14.6 here, 10 log. So the frequency is 10 kilohertz. Okay, the distance of observant is 0 0.025 meter. And the conductivity R is equals to one. Mu R is equals to one. So from here, I compute that the reflection loss for magnetic field is 22.56 dB. Remember, I need to include the B term because the absorption loss is less than 10 dB. This is the formula that we have done also earlier on. The thickness of the shield is 0 0.0381. The skin depth is 0 0.066. So I can compute that the B term having minus 3.29 under multiple refraction. Okay, again, from here, I can compute the total shielding effectiveness, which is the combination of A, R, and B term. Absorption is 5. Refraction is 22.56 dB. The B term is minus 3.29. I compute that the shielding effectiveness is just 24.3 dB. Hence, if your source of interference is magnetic field, most of the time, you will have a bigger task because you can see from here, the design of the shield is not effective at all. It's just 20 something dB of shielding only. Last but not least, let's quickly move to far field. Okay, the question is exactly the same as electric field, except that I changed the point of observant to three meter away. Okay, so it's the same for far field. Okay, I just need to consider my absorption and refraction. This is exactly what I have done on the electric field. Exactly is the same. So my absorption is 8.4 dB. Okay, under far field, okay, I have a different set of formula to compute for reflection loss. Okay, 168 here, 10 log. Okay, so this is the conductivity R, which is 0 0.61. Mu R is equal to 1. Frequency is 10 kilohertz. So I compute the reflection loss is 120. 125.85 dB. Okay, so from here, I add in the absorption and reflection loss. I compute that the total shielding effectiveness is 134.25 dB, okay, which is considered quite effective. Hence, when your source of interference is considered under far field, probably you also will have an easy time to shield against it. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.